Hello, everybody. So, it's tax return season. So, as everybody's getting their tax return, you got to spend it on something. And me, I like to invest in precious metals. So, one precious metal that a lot of Americans like to invest in is firearms. So, this is a firearm that I have recently found. I wanted an original um, Browning High Power, but those are getting to be very hard to find, but I came across this one. Uh, this is, uh, so as you can see how old it is, that's what the price was when it first came out. Uh, it was imported by KBI. Uh, this is a model PJK 9HP. I can get it out of the box. There we go. So, what came in the box, of course, is the firearm and the instructions. I mean, this was pretty well taken care of. So, uh, but it's by FEG. I don't know how you can see it. So, and I, I did a little bit of research. So, it was, you know... It's kind of hard to find some of the information on the older guns, but, you know, um, I was surprised. I mean, look at it. It's got the warranty thing and, you know, instruction manual and all that stuff. So to find a gun that's this old and with all this stuff, then, uh, yeah, that's pretty amazing. So, of course, I paid twice what the uh, price was on the box. But, like I said, it's made by FEG. It's a PJK um, 9 HP, probably for high power. And um doesn't say what the mag is, but I'm assuming it's the 13 round mag that they used to come with. So now this was a real earlier, like, well, not real early, but um I guess they were made in like the 70s and 80s and stuff. Um, I'm not sure. I tried to find what year this was made, but I couldn't. I, not by the serial number. So, but I, you know, if I do some more research, I probably can find what it, you know, when it was made and stuff. But, uh, if I do, I'll post it with the video. But, um, yeah. So I, I like the high powers and this came, I came across this and, this, I guess, is supposed to be so close to the original high power in design and stuff that you can interchange the parts with it. And as you can see, it's in really good shape. I mean, the only thing that I found that was wrong is there's like a little ding there. But, you know, you look at the bluing and stuff and everything just looks really nice. It's in great shape. So, it was definitely a good find. So, let's... uh do the basics and you know i'll compare this with the uh, gerson in another video uh, you know my clone wars episodes so this is 32.9 ounces so it is a hefty gun and it's single action only it, and uh let's see what the trigger pull is and of course it's empty i don't use live rounds usually for any of this stuff just because uh, so let's see what the trigger pull is. Got four pounds, 12 ounces. So it's a pretty light trigger. And uh, that's one thing that, that was the first thing that I noticed about this is the trigger pull was uh, really smooth compared to the Gerson. Now granted, this is older. Um, I think it's probably been broken in a little bit, but uh, it's definitely, it's nice and smooth. Uh, the reset on it, let's see, well, it's probably a full, full length reset, but, uh, let's see, yeah, it's pretty much, it goes all the way out, there's no click or anything to tell where it resets, but, uh, they, they weren't big on that back when these were, being made to, you know, design the high powers. Nowadays, it's all about resets and stuff like that. 
But um, the feel of it is really nice. I like the wood grips. Most of the new ones are plastic. I like wood grips. So th these have a nice feel to them. They're in really good shape for, you know, being a used gun. And I, I was surprised to have a box. Most people throw away the boxes because they're like, oh, who needs that? Well, I'll spend extra to get one with a box because I know that the person took care of it at that point. So, but there's the side safety and everything. You know, the typical um, slide lock right there. It's just like the high power. Uh, and it's got the, the round hander, hand, like uh, the newer versions of the high powers instead of just the flat ones. But, um, yeah, it's a beautiful gun. So let's take it out to the range and see how it shoots. Hello. So today we're, I got a new classic. This is a Browning High Power clone. It's the FG model PGK 9 HP. And, and got the 13 round mags. So I'm just going to fire some jacketed bullets and we'll see how it does. That's pretty cool. Now this one's I like 45. What's up? This one's a 45. So it's going to be on it. Yep. So I'm going to put this on. What do you want? I'm just going to push that down. Got it. So no hiccups. We'll put another mag through. So it shot great. And again, this is the FE the high power clone, but it was made during the era of the high power. So out at the range, it did pretty good. I had no failures and stuff. Um, that was the two mags uh, when I was videotaping, and I fired like two mag mags prior, so that way I made sure the thing worked and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, so it's a pretty good for accuracy. Browning's always been known for having pretty accurate guns. So, um, yeah, so it functioned fine and everything. So let's see how it comes apart. Uh, and this was what I was shooting for ammo for the thing. So to take it apart, you pull out the mag. Now you got the little lever here. It's same for most Brownings. So... You just push it back and lock that open with the lever there. And then you push this pin and this comes out. So you just kind of move it up a little bit, push the pin. And then you pull that pin out, hit the little lever, comes apart like that. And then this has got a little um, circle there. And notice how this, the circle is facing. So, because it goes in a certain way, and then, of course, the spring comes out, and then the barrel comes out. So, and then to put it back together, you just do it in reverse. And like I said, this, the circle part goes like this and not like that. So, you just got to be aware of that when you're putting it together, is to put it in like that. And then, of course, you put it back on the slide like this and lock it back. And then once it's locked back, you can put the uh, pin back in place. So you just slide that in and goes into the, the little opening there. And then there you go. Oh, yeah. And then you have to hit the little thing down. And that's it. And it goes back together, no problem. But yeah, so I was very impressed by it. I mean, it's, it's an older gun. Uh, it's built in like you know early 80s or something like that 70s 80s into the 90s i don't know what year this was but uh it was a pretty nice replica of the uh browning high power that's a dummy round so um 
but yeah, I, I'm for uh, it's a clone of the uh, original one, the original Browning High Power, but it's done so nice. And this was actually a pretty good quality. It was pretty accurate, and the uh, trigger was really smooth. So uh, I'm happy with it. It's kind of a uh, classic gun, but I always wanted a Browning High Power, but they're hard to find. And this is it looks just like one, and it's like an exact copy of it. So I figured I'd pick it up. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a good day.